Yeah, and it, the, the wells are pretty quirky. There's every well I have found is different. Uh, wells draw off uh, typically aquifers, uh, river supply, it's groundwater. Uh, the thing about municipal water is the government regulates what's in the water. They treat the water at big treatment facilities to give you basically safe water. Uh, wells, which some wells, when you think of back in the 40s and 50s, it's, ah, this is great water, it's spring water, and, and all that's all and good. But given the way the world is today with airplanes and automobiles and petrochemicals, and uh, even when it rains, a lot of the pollutants that are up in the sky that evaporates, it, it washes back down through rainfall. And then once it gets to the earth, it leaches into the ground. And then, so you have to be careful about uh, wells should be tested. You could have things in the well. We find most of the problems with well or iron is a pretty significant problem, but every well is different. But our system, based on the media that we have, it pretty much would treat most of what would be a problem in a well as far as a mineral or a contaminant or a petrochemical, something like that. Uh, it would take care of that as well as on the municipal side. We know what the government's doing to the water, so we know how to treat that also. So the device goes inside the house. Um, how big is it? Uh, the system stands approximately 60 inches in height, 10 inches in diameter, and weighs about 100 pounds. And we ship them, we manufacture in uh, Columbia, South Carolina. And when these are crated and shipped out, they have to be delivered intact uh, to get to the home. But they could fit almost, most people put them in garages, crawl spaces, out in pump houses, uh, little utility closets. There's, uh, a plumber could pretty much do anything with a pipe. So we've never really been concerned about where to put the system. It pretty much will fit in.